Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the fibers and its weaving types. So let's get into this video. So what is the fibers? Fiber is a basic building block of the reinforcement which is useful for the building of the composites. So fibers are produced by drawing uh, fiber which is accomplished by a physical pulling solid but pliable because if it is a rigid we cannot be able to pull and it is not ductile then fiber reinforcements fiber reinforcement can be of fibers particles viscous this fibers has a own characteristics as well as the particles and viscous has its own characteristics so that the composites may be uh, good strength a uh, good toughness can be obtained easily then particles and viscous improve slightly the stiffness stiffness uh, means the uh, force to the deflection ratio then uh, the fibers may be of the short fiber uh, or as well as the long fiber the length of the short fiber is uh, is from uh, 10 to 50 mm while the length of a long fiber is about uh, 50 mm above fibers are stronger in length direction than in cross direction because when we apply force in the cross direction the fibers tend to tear then these are all the fiber forms the first picture shows the continuous strand rowing that is it is a long continuous fiber then it is a woven fiber uh, woving in the multi-directional directions woven rowing it will be available in the form of a uh, mats then this is the another form of the fiber preform that is in the form of a chopped strands these are the cut pieces of a uh, this uh, continuous long fiber then the orientation of the short fibers the fiber diameter ranges from 7 to 100 micrometer the diameter plays a vital role in this type of uh, fiber uh, category because if the diameter is very small uh, its strength uh, aspect ratio is good and strength will be also be uh, good as well as the toughness can also be obtained whereas if the diameter is of a more um, size than the length it will be of um, not a good property such as strength and toughness and fiber length can be it can be short or long continuous fiber then short fibers depends on, depends on the aspect ratio as we discussed uh, earlier then chopped strands it will be of small pieces because they are the cut pieces of the long continuous fiber so they are in the length 3 mm to 50 mm then high aspect ratio higher the strength and stiffness and less flaws and high, higher strength then the orientation for the long continuous fiber it is easy to orient and process good impact resistance low shrinkage improved surface finish dimensional stability and unidirectional multidirectional bidirectional etc it can be woven into any number of forms then these are all the fiber orientations namely unidirectional unidirectional mats but it will be uh, strength only in one direction that is the x direction but not able to withstand uh, more amount of forces in the y and z directions in the cross it can be able to withstand the forces in the x and y direction then multi-direction it can be withstand forces in all the directions this is the continuous strand mat this graph shows the increased alignment versus decreased length or size and randomly oriented fibers here comes aligned oriented that is particulate viscous the short fibers cannot can also be aligned in the unidirection but it has uh, some moderate strength only and randomly distributed viscous or particles or or maybe uh, chopped strands then 
types of reinforcements this fiber is a um, general term for the material with a long axis that is many times greater than its diameter so what is a filament it is a single fiber that is formed by a single thread and then strand it is a combination or a group of untwisted filaments and a tau tau is a, a bundle or a group of continuous filaments or a strands then rowing it is a number of tows grouped together then yarn it is a bundle of rowings or a bundle of continuous filaments then woven fabric it is a planar material by interlacing yarns or tows interlacing means as we seen before this is a woven material then braiding it is a interlacing of yarns or tows into tubular shape this is the braiding braiding operation the threads are worn into a tubular shape then knitting knitting is the simply uh, making cloths then tap it is a collection of parallel filaments held together with the resin some of the uh, filaments are um, placed in a flat surface then resin is poured and again the flare the resin above which is a uh, um, the filament is can be placed over there then repeating the same process we can get the composite material then a uh, mat sheet like material consists of randomly oriented chopped fibers or a swirled fibers held together loosely by a binder these are all the process braiding process for making tubular shapes woven uh, bidirectional woving of the filament or a fiber then knitting process and fabrics and other reinforcement forms these are the toe and rowing it is the simplest form of a reinforcement and uh, sold in spools it can be uh, made from the filament winding chopped into short fiber segments for the sheet metal compounds and bulk metal compounds it can be twisted into yarn or combined with other toes into a rowing so this is a short video friends about the fibers its weaving patterns and fiber preforms etc so if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and please subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching